Next, we need to mount the hanger. And these are, let's see, there's no way you're going to see this from over there. These are the hangers I'm using, nice claw too. Um, I, I chose this particular, I chose this particular hanger for this particular piece because I need to hang it flush on the wall. Um, most of my canvases have what's called D brackets, such as these, and and then um, with cable. But I couldn't I couldn't do that in this in this one because the hanger for the cable would be pressing into this canvas and therefore not only would dent it and put a hole in it, it would also damage the canvas. So I needed this one to hang fl flush. Also, another reason I went with this claw type is because when you, you can use a simple, get this zoomed in here, come on zoom. Well, that's blurry. Oh well, you can use a simple sheetrock screw and this will mount very nicely and it won't slip. I've used this and I have had great success with them. With them. So, we're going to mount not one, but two of these and I have to go do some measurements on this for 18 inches. Now, the reason I'll be doing two of these is not only for the strength, this doesn't weigh too much, I think it's probably 10 pounds at tops. That's not the issue. Um, I will be mounting them specifically, uh, I believe it's 18 inches apart for American home frames. Um, if you happen to be purchasing this outside of the country, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, we can readjust to whatever your framing uh, widths are for your wall. And then the sheetrock screw or the wood screw will go directly into the joist. Joist? That's a joist. <laughs> it's at the end of the day. Uh, my brain is fried. But it will go into the wood, not just the sheetrock. Because the weight of it on the sheetrock, it could pull if you had an earthquake. It's not a good idea. So these are measured specifically to fit into the wall stud. Stud was the word I was looking for. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to go measure those, get those mounted. And folks, uh, we're almost done. And I do have the handle for the front of this that I forgot to, um, or the lock, which will make sense uh, when you see it. And but anyway, we're almost done, ready to hang it, and I will show you the finished product. So, give me just a few minutes. Okay, um, I want to make a, one update. Earlier in the video, I had showed, illustrated using very small little bread nails to hold this on. I found out that they were way too weak uh, because this strip of raw wood here is just pine, just sugar pine, and they weren't deep enough and it really didn't hold well. So I pulled those back out and I put in some, uh, man, some other, those finish nails that I showed you earlier in the video series. And so now, as you can see, if I can get in here a little bit closer, um, they, they're much more herfy. They're about an inch and a quarter, so just a little over 25 millimeters long. And they go, th obviously, through the sugar pine and into the frame. So we're good on these. They're nice and strong. And this also illustrates how I put the wood slats on. And you have the one 
vertical here and two horizontals. There is a gap there between the two. Um, it doesn't really matter. I needed it further up so I could mount the sawtooth hangers and have some gap between the hanger and the canvas itself.